Utah man is now a world record holder. He is the first person ever to sail the seven seas and climb the seven summits. Now tonight we take you inside the story of the world's most adventurous man. Dan Rascone joins us live and Dan, what an amazing accomplishment. Yeah, Mark and Heidi, pretty amazing here. It's incredible when you truly think of what 56-year-old Martin Fry has been able to accomplish. To climb Mount Everest or sail across the Arctic Ocean in and of itself is amazing, but to do seven plus seven, now that's something for the record books. We've got jackets and backpacks and wetsuits. A room full of clothing. I've got drawers for gloves. That's traveled the world. Uh, this is the boots I used on Everest. Uh, All worn by Martin Fry, Mr. Adventure Man. I sailed the seven seas and uh, climbed the seven summits. That's right. You are looking at a world record holder, the only person on the planet who has climbed the tallest mountains on each continent and cross the seven seas. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool. And what's really cool is if you add up the elevation on the summits, it comes to 14 and a half vertical miles. That's about double what commercial jets fly. And the seas total 35,000 miles of travel, or almost one and a half times around the world. Martin Fry. So it started with Kilimanjaro in Africa. The first climb happened in August of 2005. In 2009, Denali. January 2011, Mount Aconcagua in South America. Mount Everest in May of 2011. Elbrus in Russia. In 2012. Cartens Pyramid. In October of 2012. And number seven. Mount Vincent in Antarctica. In December of 2012. These were no walk in the park climbs. On Denali, three climbers died that year and five were killed on Mount Everest. On Everest, Martin almost froze his leg off when he accidentally left the zipper open. We had 80 mile an hour winds and the ice uh, packed in, the snow and ice packed in around my leg and I all of a sudden realized I couldn't bend my knee and looked down and I was fully encased in ice. After 2012, it was on to the seven seas. Is that in the middle? Is that Lily? Which was actually inspired by Martin and his wife's seven year old daughter. Lily was born with a rare disorder where she cannot speak, talk or walk. The Fries wanted to take her on an adventure and took her along the South Pacific Ocean. We had um, Lily as our, our ambassador. She made friends wherever we went. The other six seas included North Atlantic in February 2013, Indian Ocean the following year, then South Atlantic, Southern Ocean, Arctic Ocean, and number seven, North Pacific, a very cold and bumpy ride. We had 35-foot uh, waves, over 100-mile-an-hour winds. Martin arrived on solid ground on April 17, 2016. Through it all, he's learned a few things. Our body can do it if our mind can. I've also learned that we're capable of so much more than we give ourselves credit. I'm here to say, if you push yourselves beyond that, you can redefine who you want to become and what you can achieve. But I don't want people to be wowed by Martin. I want them to walk away thinking, if he can do it, I can do it too. So what are you going to do with all this stuff now? It served its purpose uh, for the most part, but it, there's always another adventure uh, cooking up in the back of my head. Yeah, I'm sure he's not done yet. Now, Martin says he grew up on the East Coast with adventure running through his veins. His dad was a fisherman, and by 10 years old, Martin bought himself a sailboat and started entering races. From there, it was one adventure on to the next, but Martin says he's going to try and take it easy for a little while, whatever that means there. But for more information about Martin's adventures, go to our website, KUTV.com, click on Features, and Inside the Story. Back to you guys. I'm a little jealous. Very yeah. cool.